today we're going to talk about dividing fractions and so I'm going to start with something kind of simple. I'm going to start with two-thirds divided by one-half and we've talked about in class that when we divide fractions we're going to make an equivalent expression where this two-thirds will stay the same. The division will turn to multiply and then we will take the reciprocal of one half. Okay, and these expressions are equivalent. They are going to get me the same answer. So that is, this is now going to turn into two thirds is going to stay the same. The, mul the division sign now changes to multiply, and instead of one half, I'm going to take the reciprocal of one half, which is two over one. Now that I've done that, these are the same, so I can go ahead and actually solve this. I'm going to do top times top, that's four, bottom times bottom, that's three. Okay, now I notice that what kind of fraction is that? That is improper, and I cannot leave the improper fraction improper, so I'm going to divide to turn it into a mixed number. So I'm going to do four divided by three. Okay, three goes into four once, which is three. I subtract and I get one and I'm going to go around the world and I'm going to get one and one third. So my answer is one and one third. If we're dividing and we have a whole number somewhere in there. So let's say that I have um, eight ninths divided by three. Okay, first thing I need is I need it all to be fractions. So how can I make that three a fraction? I can put a one underneath it. So I'm now going to have eight ninths divided by three over one. And just what we talked about, we're gonna keep this the same. Multiply, reciprocal. Okay, so that means that my equivalent expression is going to be 8 ninths times 1 third. So now I can solve it with top times top, that's 8, and bottom times bottom, that's 27. Is there anything that can divide into 8 and 27 to simplify it? No, so that is in simplest form. So my answer is 8 27ths. Let's do another one. Okay, I'm going to say 3 and 1 third divided by 2 and 1 half. Completely just made up those numbers. So, first thing I have to do is I have to have all fractions. So I've got mixed numbers, so I'm going to make them mad, as we said, and turn them into improper fractions. So I'm going to do 3 times 3, so that's my multiply, 9 plus 1, my add, that's 10. And then the D in mad is keep the denominator the state same, so that becomes 10 thirds divided by, okay, 2 and a half, we need to turn that to an improper fraction, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5, and my denominator stays the same, so that's going to be 5 halves. So I now need to keep this the same. This turns into multiply, and then I'll take the reciprocal of this. So that becomes 10 third, 10 thirds, sorry, the divide becomes multiply, and then I'm going to take the reciprocal of 5 halves, which will be 2 fifths. Now I can multiply it. And remember, these expressions, 10 thirds divided by 5 halves, is the same thing as 10 thirds times 2 fifths. They're equal to each other. Okay, so 10 times 2 is 20. 3 times 5 is 15. Oh, that's improper. So what do I have to do? Turn it into a mixed number by dividing 20 divided by 15. 
15 goes into 20 once, which is 15. Subtract, and I get 5. Okay, so I go around the world, and I'm going to get 1 and 5 fifteenths. Of course, I'm not done. Why? Because I can simplify this. Okay, I can divide 5 and 15 by 5. So that's going to make my answer 1 and 1 third. And there is your lesson on dividing fractions.